I don't see it, do you? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This happened yesterday while I was putting a shoe on, but um, please ignore it. If we haven't met, my name is Alamade. All I know how to say when I introduce myself, I genuinely think introductions are some of the most embarrassing things that we force each other to do on a regular basis. I'm coming to you very fresh face. So we're gonna be reviewing a new product, the NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener. I haven't even opened her up. We're doing a live reaction, live review, live swatch right now. I was really tempted to use this earlier in the week and I got it because I was like, I need to see how this works immediately. I've been slowly kind of shifting to like predominantly NARS Fenty kind of situation. Any product that comes out from NARS, I want to try. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it's hit or miss. I think it's the Light Reflecting Foundation L. Did not work for me, okay? Did not work for me, not even a little bit. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that this formula, given it's a concealer and not a foundation, will have a slightly different sort of vibe to it. Here's here's hoping. Well, I love that it's like white instead of the typical NARS black. Also glass. glass. A nice touch, a nice touch, NARS. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener in the shade Sunfire. My least favorite kind of test in life is the which shade do you want in this complexion product? Because I swear I'm like in between like three different ones and I don't really know what my undertone is. I know that at this point I should, but I don't. I think it's yellow. I know it's not red. Like, are we talking summer? Are we talking winter? We're talking spring. Am I trying to go for like bam or am I trying to go for natural? The best way to apply this is going to be with a brush. So I'm pulling out my Real Techniques 210. And we're just going to do a little bit of a dip. Oh, oh. It's a little bit orange. It's just giving orange. And I don't have a mirror. So we're just going to have to go with what's happening in the viewfinder. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I love the idea of an eye brightener. Like on a regular basis, when I'm just like going to work, I don't put foundation on like ever. I just put a little bit of concealer on under my eyes. I've been investing so much in my skincare. I just don't feel like I need makeup, honestly, unless I'm going out, out, in which case I'm like, bam, let's go. The texture is really nice and creamy. I love the texture. And if what I'm seeing in the viewfinder is real life, if that's reality, the shade match of Sunfire to me is crazy, but let me go find a mirror, look at it in like real, real, real life, okay? I'm taking you guys on a field trip so you can see what it looks like in natural light and like, it looks like my skin. I'm not even trying to gas it up, it really looks like my skin, just like a little bit brighter. For no foundation makeup days, I'm going to Sainsbury's, I'm going to Tesco, I'm going to Target, I'm going to work. I mean, I don't see it, do you? Again, another view in all natural light, no lighting, and wow, 10 out of 10. She gets a 10 out of 10. I think what I'm gonna go do is actually add a little bit more of this because I want a little bit more coverage and use the NARS bronzer and see what that gives as far as like every day, you know? Let's go do that. I literally have a mirror on top of a cardboard box. I'm still working out this whole YouTube setup. So um, forgive me while I just put you guys wherever it works. Going in first with the NARS uh, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Havana. One thing about this moisturizer is it just smells really good. I'm not usually into like fragranced makeup and it's not my favorite thing that it has a smell at least the smell is nice you know and it's also spf 30 period <laughs> i'm gonna take more of this light reflecting under eye brightener and just kind of like pile it on this is really good if you really want no makeup makeup looks but like i actually like on a no makeup makeup days for my under eye to be just slightly brighter than my complexion just feel like it brings out like my face a lot more so i might actually get like a lighter shade of this okay i got cut off because i'm running out of space on my sd card what i was saying was i think i might also get like the lighter one as well just so i can bring out the highlights in my face a little bit more like this is fantastically close to my actual complexion and i'm extremely impressed to be honest for when i want like the high points of my face to really just give that, you know? We're gonna need something a little bit brighter. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Laguna Bronzer. This one right here, I wasn't really into bronzers. I looked up all these reviews for this, found it, and now I get it. Cause look, after all these like complexion products that are so close to my skin tone, I feel like this just brings the like depth and angles back to my face. I love her. She also has the same scent as the SPF Tinted Moisturizer, but it's, it's actually less than the SPF Tinted Moisturizer. And there we have it. I think this is like a really good, no makeup, makeup, everyday kind of look. Check the mirror. If I look to the side, I'm either looking at a mirror to make sure I don't actually look crazy in front of y'all or at the viewfinder, again, to make sure I don't look crazy in front of y'all. I think this is a good no makeup makeup look. Let me know what you think. I've never used NARS for a full face makeup. I like it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And also, of course, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if we aren't already friends. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye!